Hello and welcome to review of set 76921, the Audi S1 e-tro Quattro. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe. This set was first released March 1st, 2024 and retails for £21 or $26 and is a pretty decent Speed Champion set. However, it is probably my least favourite out of this line. So on the front of the box, you have the Lego logo, the Speed Champions logo and the Audi logo, along with a render of the car, the age rating, the set number and the set name. And on the American box, you will have the piece count as well. Moving on to the back of the box, you have a render of the car from behind this is pretty much what you see in all the speed champion sets along with a aerial view of the car which is something you don't usually see but it does just show off that detail exceedingly well along with a real life photo of the car and to get in this set you do have a thumb tab however in other countries that might be different so let's get this open and see what is inside so inside here is a first for me this is the first time i've seen paper bags so we have the paper bags the sticker sheet and the instruction manual so that's a sticker sheet quite a few stickers on there the instruction manual which is as usual you've got the taskbar along the bottom which is something i absolutely love along with the little exclamation like star when you've completed a step which is a really nice little detail you have the base for the general car and we have some paper bags so this is bag two which it shows a nice tear tab along the top and then we've got the bag one which they do only use two bags in this the other speed champion sets have used about four per car which is pretty interesting to see however i'm going to get this built up and i'll catch you in a second okay so the set is all built up and this was a pretty good build it was only two bags as i showed there were the paper ones which i'll get into a bit more slightly but let's look at the minifigure first so it's a pretty decent minifigure your bog standard speed champions one you got the lovely print on the front and the legs a little bit of back printing there but nothing on the legs you have the general helmet and if you take off the face there is no reverse side printing but it's a pretty basic um face print there and you got the general spanner which you see in most speed champion sets he does also come with the alternate hairpiece which is pretty nice to see moving on to the general set we're going to start off with the front and work our way back so this this really impressed me the way they managed to get this to stick out to get the angles to make it look quite cool the techniques they use like these little I don't know how to describe it, but it's a really cool little piece which you can just clip onto. Uh, it's a pretty wet, it's just amazing how they've managed to either work it out and just do it. But you have some pretty good angles. There is a lot of stickers on the front here, which you do have to line up, unfortunately. As you can see here, these, this one, that's printed. This one is a sticker, which does mean you have to line everything up, unfortunately. Same with these, but it's a pretty good nonetheless. But there is more prints on this one than I do see in other ones. Moving on to the side, you have where the door is, which is pretty good. It doesn't open. How the wing mirrors on this set are probably the coolest by far. They've managed to use... I'm going to try and take one off, yeah. So they've just used the general... Where is it? Focus. There's the general, like pointy stick type piece along with I, I don't know how to describe these pieces I can you can visualize them but it's a pretty good way they managed to get the angle there inside you have two seats but only one minifigure unfortunately it'll be pretty good if you did get the two minifigures you have the gear shift the gear knob whatever you want to call it however I think they should have used a better piece and it's just quite in the way and tall and you like the use of the microphone in the other set you have a nice sticker piece there and along with the steering wheel along with the other mi mirror on the other side fortunately the windscreen is a print so you don't have to faff around with stickers like have on some other sets which i haven't been too happy about on the other side pretty similar all stickers running all the way down there but you do get the pretty good detail if you can line it up properly which i have on some have on others haven't on others which is a bit annoying Moving back a bit more, you have some more lovely stickers, unfortunately, along with a, there's a different technique to what they've used in previous sets. They've usually just used the like transparent bricks, whether this is just the like sloping one, which is pretty good. It works. It does its job. And then moving back a bit more, you've got a pretty good use of the snowboard there as it just like adds that actually a bit of depth. And then you've got the spoiler, which doesn't move. However, you do have some really good angles going all the way down here. And these are luckily printed pieces. You don't have to put a sticker on the finest margin, but it's pretty good. Good, none the less moving on underneath of the set you can actually see a bit of the set flowing through which you can't in some but you can in others and you do have all these studs exposed unfortunately however you could cover them up but you might not be able to move it as it would restrict the gap underneath as well so this set was my first one with paper bags. It only contained two paper bags, whereas the majority of Speed Champion sets are between three and four, but there was a lot more in each bag. But it's pretty good. There's pretty not really much to say about them. You just tear them open and all the little mini bags inside are also paper, but it's just quite cool. And I do hope to see more of those in the future. So overall, this set is probably, I don't know, 
is my second or third favourite at the Hold Speed Champions range. It's a great display piece. The way that some of the techniques they've used is absolutely amazing. I especially love the wing mirrors on this, along with the spoiler. However, I think the Ford Mustang is going to take it for me as my favourite. So that's going to be it for this video. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.